Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux First Impressions. This week we are looking at Black Lab Linux. Black Lab Linux is brought to you by PC Open Systems LLC. You will not find this on the distro watch. It was requested by a viewer that watches a few of my distro reviews that I look at this and give it a little bit of credit. Black Lab Linux is based off of Ubuntu, utilizing actually Lubuntu, which I believe I always thought LMDE is what the L stood for in Lubuntu, but I could be wrong. Either way, it's a light, lighter version of Ubuntu, and this is a 64-bit. It, we have right now XFCE that is running. There is your main menu right here. And you have, of course, Chromium as your browser installed. Now, this is based on the LTS or long term support, and it does come with some good applications. For instance, when I was glancing around, I saw that Steam was one of those. But if we scroll down over here, you can see that it has LibreOffice and Steam, Skype, Chromium, Thunderbird if you still use a mail client, VLC, which is of course my favorite video program, Audacious MP3 player, for those of you still using Facebook and haven't dropped it due to all of the many, many, many privacy issues, which I got rid of at least a year ago. Dropbox, OpenShot, Audacity, GIMP, and Inkscape. Those last couple there are some very good applications for video editing, working with audio files, graphic files, of course, and of online storage with Dropbox. All in all, Black Lab Linux installed quite easily. On their website, you can go to the download and documentation. I will leave of course this link inside of the description so if you want to try it yourself you can. But a very easy download. Now it is a 64-bit OS but it did look like they might have a 32-bit as well. But all of the links are here. This is where I was able to get the ISO and get it to install. The installation is what you would normally see for a typical Ubuntu system. Uh, nothing too difficult to worry about. Of course, in my case, since I have quad booting going on right now, this is one of my older laptops that I'm testing it on, even though it is still a Core i7. And I still have Gen 2 on this that I run on a regular basis and a few other OSs but this is the guest OS partition for right now that I have this in. I was able to use a custom partition and make sure that my fourth partition was being used to get this installed. No trouble at all. It installed quite easily. It saw my network very well. It was able to connect without any issues with the firmware. That's always nice to see that those things are built in and that I don't have to go and make sure I have the right firmware for my system. Since it works here, I will pretty much be guaranteed that it will work on some of my other hardware. That comes in very handy. There are a couple different application managers that you can use. If you go into the computer settings and to the system, there is the add remove software. There is also another one down here that if you scroll through you will find a software center and also software update. I have updated this a couple times and in both cases it actually didn't blow up which is very nice for a Ubuntu system because I'm not used to Ubuntu going for a very long period of time without getting destroyed with some sort of update which is why I do try to stay away from Ubuntu distributions. Ubuntu can be one of those distros that are very easy to use and great for beginners, but unfortunately I find them to be very buggy and to have a lot of issues when it comes to long-term maintenance, even 
if you have a version that is supposed to be as stable as it gets. Ubuntu is one of the few that in the past when I tried to use them, if I went more than three to six months with a Ubuntu flavor, I usually ended up having to wipe it and reinstall it because of an update that hosed it completely. That being said, am I endorsing Black Lab Linux? Well, it is what it is, and it is what it what they say it's for, which is to get you an introduction into Linux. And therefore, from that standpoint, it is successful in giving you a taste of what Linux can be like with the ease of use and simple install, and using XFCE makes it pretty much where anybody could just jump right in and play with these applications and have them running well for them without too much issue. As for long-term usage, I'm not so sure. It would be a little bit more difficult to tell. I would be a little bit nervous, but that's only from my past experience using Ubuntu-based distros. Anything that makes Linux or Black Lab Linux stand out here, other than their software selection, the fact that they put some nice software apps together for you so you don't have to search for anything, really nothing too major that stands out. Everything is pretty typical and there are no items that I've looked at throughout here that say hey this is what makes this better than anything else all in all my opinion average but satisfactory at the same time I did have a few issues when setting up the sound to be able to record properly but nothing that I couldn't repair and get working within moments few minutes at the most YouTube and Flash worked right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything special for that. And everything else about the system seems to be stable. I will say it with this caveat, however. After allowing the system just to kind of sit and stew for about a day or so and not go back to it, and then pick it back up, it was in a black screen locked up and I could not get out of it. I ended up having to force shut down which I really hate to do inside of Linux and restart the computer but since I got back into here this time around everything does look proper and I haven't had any other issues so there might be something wrong with the way it's going into sleep mode or hibernation so something always to look at in fact I would always warn people that even in this after many years of them working with us I have still not found a Linux distribution that really works a hundred percent with sleep and hibernation without having some sort of a lockup or hiccup during the time that you're using it. Well, all in all, that's all I have to say about Black Lab Linux. I hope you enjoy this. I hope this might have helped a few people out. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Have a great weekend. And we will talk to you all later. Bye.